my channel I'm really really excited today I haven't been excited about a makeup product in a while um, like a launch but today I went and picked up two cushion foundations one from Kiko and one from Lancome and I got it from House of Fraser so I was only gonna get Kiko but I had a bit of a YOLO moment I was like let me just get both because I'm just so curious I wanted to try them for so long because you guys know I'm really into Korean makeup and stuff and they pretty much invented this cushion sort of system and it's really unique and really interesting. Um, pretty much it's like a compact with liquid foundation and you use a little puff and apply it to your face. So it's really good for on the go, it's good for quick sort of application and it's good for when you want like light makeup days pretty much. So yeah. So the Kiko one is just called the CC Cream Cushion System and you get 10 mil in here or 0.33 fluid ounces and it was 15 pounds and 90 pence. So pretty much 16 pounds, so that was Kiko. And this is the packaging, so it's like completely metallic all around. And then it looks like that. You get a little puff. You open this bit up. Oops. And the product is there. It has a little seal over it as well. But anyway, yeah, that's what it looks like. So that's the Kiko one. And then the Lancome one was $29.50. I think Salvages charges £30. Um, and I got mine. Oh, sorry, I didn't tell you the shade. The Kiko is in neutral 70, which is the second darkest shade. The next one up is neutral 90. So, yeah. And I got this Lancome one in 05, which I think is also the second darkest, I believe. Um, and it looks like this. So, it has that same sort of metallic. Um, silver part at the top but it's white at the bottom if you can see and this gives you slightly more product this one has 14 grams or 0.51 ounces and it has a really nice mirror there you get your puff and the same sort of thing just open it up and the foundation is under here so yeah, this might be a touch too dark for me and the Kiko might be a touch light, I'm not sure, but we're gonna make it work. So this one says it expires in six months and this one says it expires in 12 months. This one was made in Italy and this one was made in Korea, no surprise there. So yeah, that's how they look side by side. They're both really nice. They do get really fingerprinty because of this sort of material, you can probably tell. But they're very sleek and nice. They're kind of big, but I don't mind. And yeah, these cushion foundations are great for on the go. If you're the type of person that does your makeup on the train, <laughs> then yeah, or at work, like when you first get to work. Oh, and I forgot to tell you the Lancome foundation actually came with a free blush. This is in the shade Rose Paradise and it's actually really nice. I'll just quickly swatch it. It's really smooth. It's a nice hot pink color, perfect for spring and summer. So that's what it looks like. So I thought that was nice. I'm not sure if um, everywhere is doing that or if it's just House of Fraser, but yeah. Okay, so let me go take off my makeup and I'll show you what the foundations look like. I'm thinking I might do like half of my face with one and half of the other. I'm not sure, but I'll be right back. <laughs> Hey 
Okay, so my foundations of Selaska started. I'm gonna do half of my face with the Kiko and half with the Lancome. So I'm gonna start with the Kiko and I've just taken off the protective little cover and I'm just gonna dab like you know a little bit of the cushion I mean what what am I saying <laughs> I'm just gonna dab it into the cushion like that and I'm gonna use the mirror because I can't really see and Ooh, a bit of light. I wasn't sure if I should get the darker one, but like it looked, it looked too dark when I swatched it. So this one might be too light. And that one might be too dark. But it's really fun applying it like this. I don't know. It's really smooth. I'm not having any problems. Oh no! <laughs> Look how light that is. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh dear. I'm not having any problems. The little um, puff makes it really easy to just smooth out. And you know, with liquid foundation, you have to put it on the back of your hand, get a brush, put it on your face, buff it out, all that. This just does everything at once, so it's really, really quick. Let's just ignore the color, shall we? Ugh, I need to get the 90. I really thought the 90 would be too dark, but I don't know. Maybe I'll try it. But I do like the product. Let's just ignore the color. Holy shit. <laughs> Let's just ignore the color and talk about the product. I was in a rush, that's why I didn't really like take my time. But it looked like my shade on the back of my hand that's the only thing. Um, under my nose it's not accentuating my pores but it's also not really like covering them either well maybe it is slightly it's camouflaging them a little so yeah I'm a ghost okay so let's try the long curve one I have a feeling this might be a little bit too dark so I might have to mix them when I use them, like I have to mix all my foundations, but anyway. So let's take off the little cover. And I'm just putting two fingers like that and just dabbing the sort of edge. Okay, I feel like I got a lot more product when I just dipped it into this, like it's a lot more saturated I feel. really smooth has a nice smell I've never actually tried a long comb foundation before or a Kiko foundation before so yeah I really really like this one I don't know something about it just seems a little bit nicer maybe it's the smell that's just making me think that and the fact that it's not like ghostly pale <laughs> Is it my color or is it too dark? Maybe a little bit darker. It will be perfect when it gets a little bit more sunny and I get a bit more color. But it's not super far off. I am definitely this color at some point in the year. Okay, they're actually pretty similar. This one seems slightly more, not moisturizing, but a little bit, oh my god, I look ridiculous. <laughs> oh my god. Like it has a bit more of a dewiness to it. Almost slightly, this one looks a little bit more matte. That's what you get when you rush. <sighs> oh well. I wonder what would happen if I like mix this. Let's mix it. Let me just put this on top. The Kiko, I would say, is more matte. I'm gonna smell it in a sec because I can't remember if it had a set or not. I didn't really notice. 
let's just ratify this because it's getting on my nerves. Can we please talk about how I have an ombre face? Okay. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of the Kiko and just put on the darker side, just a touch. So everything is all even. But this is really funny how like both shades are like um if I mix the shades, they're my perfect colour. You guys know what I mean. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> So together, I think they make a really good match. I always have to mix foundations. It's so annoying. It's very, very rare that I find um, a brand that has my exact, exact shade. Right now, my Estee Lauder one is pretty close, but um, it's still a little bit dark. But yeah, let's see how that looks. So that's Lancome. And that is Kiko. So if you can see there, the Kiko one is kind of like NC 40 ish. And this is leaning towards maybe NC, hmm, I don't know, NW 40 something. I'm not sure what do you guys think. But when you blend it out, it doesn't really look as dark or as light. So yeah, if you can see. Okay, so what is my verdict? As you guys saw, I mixed them together and they're pretty much the same formula. I would just say the Lancome one has a bit more hydration to it. It's meant to be dewy, but I wouldn't say it's dewy. It is slightly more fresh than this one. This one is more of like satiny, but they are both kind of like satiny and natural. They give good coverage without being too much. If your skin is generally decent is perfect for you you don't really need anything more than this but i would say the lancome one is really really expensive for what it is i'll be interested to see how long it lasts as well because it is really really expensive 29.50 is a lot that's how much my um i say lauder one is but it's just i was just so drawn to this because i've seen so many reviews of korean ones and i just was so excited that i could finally try a cushion foundation in my shade so i'm not disappointed at all with either of them it's my fault for choosing the wrong shades but with the lancome one i don't think it could have been avoided that is pretty much the only shade i could go with um i am definitely going to be that color you know once spring comes around once there's more sun and i get a little bit of a tan so that's not a problem but this one is definitely too light i'm pretty much at my lightest now you know it's february i'm pretty much at my lightest so um i might go for the 90. i don't really mind spending another uh actually there should be a refill for this i shouldn't have to repurchase the whole thing so i'll look into that as well i know there are refills for this which are I'm not sure how much they are actually. This was $29.50, so the refill might be like around 20 or something like that. I don't know. But I'll look into it, I'll put more details below. But my verdict, go for the Kiko one if you just want to try it out because it's so similar to the Lancome and you're saving almost half. So yeah, like I said, the Kiko one is $15.90 and the Lancome is pretty much $30. So yeah, I do actually really like them. I'm not I'm not um disappointed at all. Let me just feel yeah, it's completely set. It's like it actually feels like I'm wearing nothing. It's very light, but I think it does give decent coverage. Let me just look in the mirror. Yeah, it's not bad at all actually. And my skin is very um what is the word? I have like uneven skin texture and it doesn't cling on to any of that. It just sort of glided over everything really well. And I do have scars. Didn't completely cover them, but I didn't really expect a CC cream to completely cover my scars. Um, I don't know if you can see my forehead. Just still looks really natural. You can st still see some of my scars and stuff. Yeah, I don't mind that. It's really natural coverage. I guess it does give a bit of a glow. I just want to know how to wash these things or if you just get new ones. Um, 
so would I recommend these I would actually because they're just really fun and different um, if you have the money to spend try the Lancome one I suppose <laughs> but you can get a very very similar effect with the Kiko one so it's just up to you really or you can just be like me and get both for no reason but yeah I like this packaging better I think it's a little nicer but you get more in here so yeah that's pretty much it I don't really know what else to say about these but they're both good I would say they're both good oh I was gonna smell the Kiko one because the Lancome one had a nice fresh sort of skin carey smell the Kiko one really doesn't have a smell it's like a very faint light sort of scent just like foundation it's not unpleasant it's barely any scent at all and the Lancome one smells fresh but it's not overpowering it's very very light so just to show you the inside again that's the long pen and that is the kiko i just had an idea i'm gonna go take this all off again and apply it in a different way and i'll be right back so I've just gone and removed the bottom half of my foundation so I still have some on my forehead but I'm gonna try to highlight and contour with these two um, foundations since one is lighter and one is darker than my skin tone I just thought I would try it out and see how it comes out so I have my Kiko one here and I forgot to mention the SPF um, this one is 25 the Kiko one is SPF 25 the Lancome is SPF 23 PA++ so if you don't know about the PA++ um, system check it out it's a very Asian thing I believe um, whoops <laughs> so putting this under my eye Little here as well okay that should be good for the light shade let's do the long curl next I might have to like mix a bit of the light with this as well but let's see and we'll put a swipe of this here let's see when I first heard of cushion foundations, I was like, how can you get enough product like just from a little dab? But you actually really do get quite a lot. It spreads out really nicely and evenly. So I really enjoy the application of these. It's really nice actually. So that was my little experiment. I'm not sure if it really worked, but as you saw, I put the Kiko under here and the um, Lancome here and around my face I could even put a little bit more around my hairline as well around my nose so let me know what you think and comment below are you gonna try one of these or are you just gonna wait till like a drugstore one comes up guys comment below I want you to guess who do you think is going to be the first drugstore brand to um, copy these cushion foundations? Because you know it's going to happen. Like I tweeted a few months ago, like I wonder, something like I wonder which Western brand is going to be the first to copy the Korean cushion foundations and here we go, we have them. So I know a Western drugstore brand is going to copy. Maybe L'Oreal? I don't know. It's going to happen. Probably spring or summer. But let me know your guess below. It'll be funny to see if you are right <laughs> so to finish off I'm just gonna spray a little bit of this mist it's really really dewy so I'm just curious to see what it will look like I love the finish that this gives to my um, skin so yeah it just with the cushion foundation and like a mist it really looks very very fresh and young and I like this combination I can tell already I'm gonna be using these a lot together I'm glad I bought both because yeah mixed together they're perfect so that's about it and I'll see you in my next video bye